All right, and, and so hopefully that calculation now will make sense as you are doing those calculations. Um, remember that if, if you're interested in calculating the theoretical size of the image, remember that the answer that you will get here is not going to match with the average file size indicated by the operating system. Why? Because typically, in fact, most of the time, the vast majority of the time, the file that you are working with, the image file you are working with, has already been compressed. Right? Um, and also, when you calculate the theoretical size, you notice that the size that you calculate is somewhat smaller than the, 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 the size reported by the operating system. We mentioned that the digital na native also has descriptive information about the image itself the metadata, so it's stored as part of that same file, which is why you have extra, um, uh, an extra size, or extra bits to the original uh, uh, bits representing the photo. Uh, and depending on the fo uh, format you're using, like for JPEG, for instance, approximately 16% apparently is used for the metadata. Right? So 16% of the original bits representing the image would be the size for the metadata, and then the, the total, the theoretical image size and the Metadata will give you the total size of the image that you'd expect, right? Hopefully this makes sense.